So I switched to my regular size traveler's notebook from my passport size for the summer. Just wanted to try it again, just for something different. I kind of missed it because there is more room to write in it and I seem to have more to write these days. So um, I do use my notebooks also as my wallet. So I got a card insert to carry credit cards in, insurance information, etc which I pulled out for, for this. And I went with the Goulet Tomo River paper inserts, which I really like. I still have a couple of my old Midori ones. But this paper is so nice and it shows off the sheeny inks, which I love. <clears throat> As usual, at the beginning, I have my monthly recurring bills. I just make a generic calendar and then put the dates of recurring bills, stuff I have to do every single month. That way each week I do a layout and then I go back and look and fill in the things that are due for that week. So it's just a generic looking calendar. So I was trying some different layouts and I really like this one where I split the first page into a quadrant of four and this page is just to write on for stuff that happens during the day or thoughts or sayings or things that crop up and I do really like it. Uh, just found a little pretty art deco-y thing because this is kind of art deco type of writing. <clears throat> I'm into these sheening inks and sparkly shimmer inks. They're really nice. Love them. See how they really have sheen but they're actually not overpowering. Um, so this is two pages a day what I did last week and since the diamond on the reverse side showed through I was writing within the diamond shape so that's kind of cool and again all these pretty inks very very sheening shimmery <coughs> sorry this is such a moving video and so that was adding my weather back in I think I forgot to do for a couple of days or just did it. I don't know. I had it. I love to do the weather for the day and the pollen count because I've had such bad allergies. Just kind of trying to see. It's fun to keep track of and it also is kind of good in retrospect to look at. Found this cool font that I want to try at some point, probably next week. So I just glued it in there so I could find it. And then you have Friday and a lot going on that day. And then Saturday, Sunday, one page each. And I really like this. So I had a problem. I liked this layout a lot with the margins and then I put my little fun weather stuff there. Um, and I liked how this looked and I liked making these little sections. So the next week, <clears throat> I went to that and I went a page a day. Now this is maybe a little too little. I, I, it's not bad. A page a day is not bad. So I'll probably stick with that. But it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I'd really like a page a day for these as well. But I don't want to do Saturday, Sunday and start Monday. I don't know why. Just would bug me. So I was thinking next week what I'll do is make a place page for the week and maybe put a calendar up or something and start with Monday so I get Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, base plate, you know. So I think that might work well. So I really liked that. And then this week I really used all of these little dividers um, every day. And I really like how that worked out and looked and I put my weather in the margins. But drawing these little borders, I don't know, I liked that look a lot. So, oh, sorry. So this was a pretty successful layout that I really like and you could do different shapes instead of a circle or a diamond or you know whatever. 
Um, you can even do just a, a little pretty and have your day and date on the margin up above. So I really like that. So that's how I'm doing right now. I'm doing my dailies, trying different things. I think I'm close to a really one that I really like. But of course, I always like to change them. Now in the back of this one, I put my future log and I just glued in months. I was not gonna sit there and write each of them out. I should, maybe next time I will. Um, and I left some blank pages just for various things. What is in the way here? Sorry, my hand. <laughs> so my next little one is just still my fitness, diet, odds and ends that I, my lists of foods that I need to go back to because apparently I may have something that I need to really do that. <clears throat> and then I just add in, it's kind of an odds and ends notebook to do with eating mostly. And I can transfer those pages eventually. This isn't gonna be a keeper notebook probably, but so that's what, this is a, a, a all about diet basically. And I have this little board that I can put behind a page to write on. It's laminated, it has a grid that if you need it to show through. The next notebook I put in is simply kind of a journal notebook, straight up journaling. So when then there comes a day when I just want to journal, journal, I put it in. I started to put a symptom tracker in it. And I'll journal around it, go on with the next day that I decide to write because I don't want to write every single day. Some days I have something extensive I want to say. So this is like a straight up journaling notebook insert. It won't get used up as fast, probably. Then I still have my old pocket that has this zippered pocket. And on the other side is the pocket pocket. And I have odds and ends in there, coupons, some cash. And then I got a stick on pocket just to tuck coupons into to find quickly. Could use it for whatever you wanted. And then my last insert actually <clears throat> is an insert for, I'm just trying to make a recipe book. And so I'm just keeping it in here. And it's an actual, I will have an index and it has little recipes that ones that I don't want to forget and then I made a little watercolor drawings and some there's some fountain pen some watercolor some gel pen in that the white is gel pen and then like absolutely love this recipe and one of the ingredients um, is tarragon so I drew a little tarragon painted a little tarragon there. There's an instant pot recipe that I really liked. So I put parsley and uh, <clears throat> drew a little instant pot. Cause this is like a keeper book. And then I uh, made some golden beets that I really liked. So I thought I'm gonna put that in there so I don't forget and some beet greens. And then I did a little painting drawing of beets and so that's what that last little notebook is gonna be. So that's my setup for the new regular sized traveler's notebook. And I just thought I'd share. <laughs>